So, honestly, I feel like within the black community, we do a really trash job at dealing with the issues that like actually matter. Trauma is actually associated with going natural. I think that properly dealing with dual texture disorder, DTD, is super important to our survival, like as a race. So I'm starting up a digital support group for ladies who are transitioning. I applied for a grant with Rainbow Push, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I don't think you were still coming. Yeah, well. Come on in. Hey girl, look. I'm sorry for what happened the other night, okay? Don't pay Tristan no mind, he's just another little boy trying to climb, you know? Yeah, I remember. Thanks. We good? Mm-hmm, because if we wasn't, you wasn't going to say nothing, okay? Because Lord knows you need help. <laughs> this is for you. What is it? <laughs> Soul glow. I remember when my hair was like this. Transitioning? Unfortunately. Figure we watch something you ain't never seen yet. Oh, you can sit. Yeah. I don't bite. <laughs> what type of hair you got? Okay. This will work. You sure you're okay? Mm -hmm. All right. When we go to Texas, down to my dad's people that lived in in Texas, it really got me when I was like seven or eight years old. And we would drive up, and they would look at me and say, oh, look at the little black cow. Say, oh, she looks just, I know whose granddaughter she is. You looked exactly like Nancy. And I would almost start to cry then because my grandmother, Nancy, was an overweight, heavyset black woman that was mean as could be. And I thought, they probably were saying in my younger day, her younger day, she probably looked like me. But for them to say that then, that just tore me up. Every time they say, oh, that's Nancy's grandchild. I thought, do they think I look like her? No one ever told you that you, were, you look nice. They never told you that you was pretty. So I never knew that. I really had no idea that what I had was great, you know? And it took me a long time, and then I thought, surely everybody can't be wrong, can they? <laughs> so I started looking in the mirror, and then I started fixing myself up.
ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆறு Mom mom always said a tender head makes a weak mind. If your head ain't even good enough holding up all your own hair, then what good is it holding all the stuff in your brain? And when she said that, I low key get offended because I would be the one crying, sniffling, snotting and stuff. And mad cuz when we were in Maryland, she let me wear my hair straight and easy. But when we visit St. <laughs> Catherine or My pops folks in the cry, she say no ember we're preparing for a journey. And she braided up. So I ain't as tender headed as I used to be. <laughs> got to be strong for the journey. Mine's got to be ready. That's what we're here for. I'm here to find a major. Now says like seriously, some of the things in the books is just not going to teach us. I have seen it before. The movie, I've seen it. When I was little, I used to wear my hair in these fat little braids. We used to go to my grandma's house after church, like way into the city. And all of my cousins and their little friends from around the block would come over for dessert. And my grandma, she would turn on BET or something cuz they were always showing a movie. And she needed us to quiet down for her after church nap. And they'd be playing the color purple. and the other girls would look at me and point and this one cousin would always call me Celie I don't know I didn't want much to do with them after that I guess it was easier for me to run away from the little black girls than to face them in the mirror Is that good? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's good. Girl, why did Professor Carlson have the audacity to give me an A minus? He knew that paper was fire. Yes. Hey, sorry, I forgot you was doing hair today. Now you're good. <laughs> hey, I'm Adia. I know. I mean, Amaya, they said your name at the first BSU meeting. And you haven't been back. <laughs> Leave her alone. I was just asking a question. I don't know why I let Vaughn talk. To That's your friend. Whose friend? Just because we get the same money does not mean I voted for Vaughn her controlling ads. President. president speaks to board members, officers, massa. Oh. If y'all was really about it, you let that queen stay on her soapbox and do your grinding from the trenches. The beautiful could have the platform faces be hair laid on that MLK. I'll be on that bay up rustin. Then Ella Baker. Mm, MLK wasn't no pretty pacifist professor. Okay, Thank yeah, you. but still. Okay. And Ember, we were supposed to be at the meeting 30 minutes ago. Oh shoot, sure, I forgot I had practice. I am tired of this. It's too much. Shh. You just going to let them run your whole life for a fashion It's art is sacrifice. It's too much. Oh, I'm my telling you not home. What are you doing? No. I got to go. No. Oh my god, I got an answer. To you just going to let Dre run your whole life? Hey. Hey. Uh Amber is not home. I don't know where she is. I'll tell her you were by.
how much of your soul are you gonna give away? You gonna get tired trying to make it so to somebody else? Man, about you, man. Hiding in your own room. Sis, you're hiding too. Dre breaks up with you and you implode? What about honoring him? I am honoring him. Tell me. Tell me. All-knowing queen, if everybody in your family gets that 3B hair and you're the only one born kinky, all your sisters get to choose the hijab, but you're a low-class target with or without it. And niggas don't even look at you twice with or without it. And the one who does is only looking because you only started pressing your shit. Tell me, if you wanted to build yourself back up, would you go around hating every reflection you see of yourself? Or would you go for something deeper? You get to be something other than your hair. Something beyond yourself. God gives a way to bear an image beyond your appearance. What would your Jesus tell you to do? I'm trying to learn to love myself in private again. And it's hard. So fuck me if every single once in a while I stumble. Damn it. <sighs> oh, shit. Here, let me help. It's really pretty. Me? Sorry, I didn't mean no, to. No, it's... I'm just going through a lot of things. <sighs> so I'm trying to. I know. I'm just working on some things. Yeah. We are. Mm, I think it, to me, feels like this thing that, like, my ancestors handed down to me from a place of being told that they weren't beautiful enough or smart enough, but knowing that they were... Um, royalty anyway so like the invisible crown right so like knowing like oh I'm a queen kind of like Jesus when he was here was like a king but didn't look like a king the way you thought so it's like this power that lives inside of you that you know about and that other people can recognize but they don't recognize it part of the power is they don't have to I mean um, society has told black women for so long that we're not the opinion of beauty, um, but we don't really 